Hi viewers, we are here once again to thrill you with our most exciting movies. I hope you've been finding our movies, our videos exciting. And uh, thank you for your comments and we will not fail to appreciate our subscribers. We also, thank you for the patronage and we are also we are still calling for more subscribers. So for first timers, please do not hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell. So today we want to thrill you with some moves about how to free yourself from neck lock. Enjoy this. All right. This is the first point we're going to do is just let's see how he's going to lock lock up. Okay. Lock tight. <coughs> okay. Now you just saw what happened. He locked and I got choked and I had to cough it out. You know why that happened is because if you fail to, to hold your breath when the lock is there, that is why or that is when you see you experience that you call you have to cough because you get choked. Now now lock up again. Okay. Mm, now he locks. Now this time I've held my breath. I can't choke. Alright? Now, if you hear my voice because I managed to, I shouldn't be talking at that point. But since I talk, but with my breath held, you hear my voice shaking somehow. Because that's the effect of the lock. To show you that, the lock is, is tightened. Alright? So now, we're going to take it gradually to show you the process as, as it goes. Now, take the lock again. Okay. Now, this is the lock. Now, free it again. But here, the middle of the elbow here is where comes directly to the throat when the lock comes. And the other hand now comes to support it and to tighten it the more. Okay? So that's how the lock goes. It is very tight. And like I said, you should not um, breathe on when that lock comes up. Immediately, the lock, the lock comes immediately. What you do is now lock tight. See there I just hold my breath I don't get choked but if I didn't hold like it happened at first you saw it I was choked so now he locks again lock all right now for the action that will come up afterwards if he locks now I won't speak I will only show you the action when I show then I will explain why it comes that way Lock again. Now you saw what happened when he locked. I had to take my hand up. Why did I do that? I wanted to position to see where his head is positioned before I take what I want to take. Now I have positioned and I've noticed where the head and the face is. Now lock again. Come on. That is finishing. Now, I explain. You saw from us at uh, the first one. I did this to show, to prove, or to ascertain where the face is. The trees again. Now, when I notice where the face is, now I decided to take the action. Now I take a strike. To the face stamping from the jaw straight to wherever it locks up everything the face entirely now from here the moment I finish with this he has freed the grip a little bit now I have a space now to take the elbow strike to the side rib from there I have more opportunity now to swing him up and then strike to the jaw again and a strike to the waistline okay all right now let's see that again in a little bit swift mode now go lock up Aye. Aye. That is 
you've finished with that you've dealt with, you've handled that situation as simple as that clean okay now that is the first point or the first way to free that lock now we're still going to look at another way to free that same lock okay now take the lock again all right three <clears throat> like I first I still want to remind us again do always remember to hold your breath immediately the lock comes do not forget seize the breath immediately and you can seize the breath for how long you want to plan whatever you want to do she will not be, have any effect now lock again I didn't feel as if anything was happening. Why? Because I'm breathing hard now because I sit my breath. So if you can seize your breath for a long time, it can also help you for a long time to plan, but you don't need that long time. You just seize your breath for just a few seconds and then you already know what to do. Okay? Now he locks again. Okay. All right. I check, like what I explained at the first, the first move, I also check the face again, where it is positioned. Alright, now he locked again. Now when I get there, I strike, bam, here, and I turn. I will see that, now, with the neck down here, hmm. I don't need to do any other thing. It's the next strike here. Bam. It's good enough for that step. Now, come on. All right. Now it locks again. Ah! Ah! Okay, alright, for more clarification, I will explain further for you to understand how the technique works. Okay, now, like I said, he grabbed and I checked, already have in mind what to do. So I checked the position and I saw the, the face well positioned for me and I go for double strike to the ear. Tom, and the strike goes straight there, clamping the ears together. Palm. and immediately I clamp the ears together what happens is going to send a shocking sensation to him and that shocking sensation will make him lose focus at the first instant that happens I grab the head together and twist out and turn him down and when I turn him here what happens I position that neck for a strike mm. And I bet you, that strike, you don't joke with. Don't joke with that strike at all. It's a very deadly strike. And that's gone. That's off for him. Alright? Okay? Now, I hope that explanation is good enough for anybody to be able to really understand how that technique works. Alright? Now, let's, we're going to take the third move. Alright? Now, he locks again. Okay? All right. Now you remember the principle. The first primary, your basic principle, is for you to hold your breath. It goes all and all and all and all along with every other thing that has to do with the locking of uh, the, the neck. All right. Now he locks again. I've held my breath, so I won't feel as if. He's doing anything. So anybody seeing it would think maybe, ah, he's not looking. 
but it's actually looking. But why I'm not feeling it is because my breath is seized. Okay? Now it goes on again. It locks. And I'll free it a little bit to be let me talk. Okay now. I am going to take the action now. When I allow him to take the lock for real, I'll take the action by holding my breath. And remember, once I am set for the action, I won't have to talk again so that the effect of this lock will not disorganize me. So I will allow him to take the lock, and after taking the action, I will explain. Now go. Yeah. Bam. And throw this off and strike again. Thumbs up. All right. I am going to explain how that works. Okay. Now it takes the lock. Good. Now this is what I did. I realized he has locked me. And I'm looking for what to do. I quickly understand what to do. I take myself a bit off here and manage to put my hand here. And the moment I got, I got the space to put my hand here, then I know he's in. For he's going to be in a danger. Now, from here now, the next thing is I clamp my hand to the shoulder here. Then I shoot myself from the waist up and from here i bend as if i'm bending down not completely to the front but to the side with my waist shooting i go one that's what happens okay then i can add up a punch here i'm here strike and i throw down and i see strike here all right now he comes up okay now I'm going to explain this action in two ways. But somebody may ask that probably maybe the person looking is it's more weightier, has you no know, heavy body and is heavy. Let me put it that way, it's heavy and has so much weight. So you now think that by that that action, that technique might not work for him. But I'm telling you, free it a little bit. I'm telling you that it works in two ways. Why he has to follow the throw is for his own safety too. If he fails to follow the throw, this is what happens to him. Now let's assume he tries to resist the throw. Look, he tries to resist the throw. And I did this. Ah! Okay. That's what will happen. So for him to have and it's more dangerous because it will affect the elbow, I mean, yes, the shoulder and the elbow at the same time. And after that, I'll see take a strike, palm, and probably I'll strike him off again. Okay, so for him to follow the throw is also for his own good. So it doesn't matter the size, the weight, or whatever. So he will follow the throw to help him more. Or resist the throw to then be more in a danger than the other way okay all right so I think with this you've been able to understand exactly the few throw pattern we've been meant to show you we still have more but we're going to pause here for today till we meet again next time thank you first time as please do not forget um, subscribe hit the bell and we're also waiting for your comments. Cheers.